12. Given the lengths of two sides of a triangle, tell what the third side's length must be between. We have 13 and 15. Well, if the one guy is 15 and the other's 13, I stretch them almost out perfectly flat. You can see that final third side would be 15 plus 13, about, what, 28? And it's got to be a little less than 28 because that 28 would be if it were perfectly flat. The other situation you could have is you could have the one guy 15 and this 13 stretching back almost right to it. Well, it's almost right just two away. It's got to be a little bit more than two away. Perfectly flat, it would be two away, so it's up a little bit. So it's you know, 2.01 maybe, somewhere in there. So you could see two is as small as we're going to be able to get it if we pretty much put the 13 flat down on the 15. And 28 is as large as we can get if we create a huge angle here between the 13 and 15. So the answer is somewhere between 2, there's my measurement, there's 28, the measurement is somewhere in the middle between these two. We use alligators to always eat towards a bigger number, and they got to be going in the same direction, everybody, so don't try to do anything weird here. All you do is you list the smallest, the largest, put your in between it, and then make the alligators eat towards a bigger number, which will be to the right. And that's how we get our answer. And the easy way, again, to get the 2 and the 28, if you simply subtract 13 and 15, you get 2. You add them, you get 28. That's how we always get these two numbers here. We subtract them to get this first number, add them to get the second number, and our measurement's going to have to be somewhere between 2 and 28. There's problem 12.